Hi everyone! Historical cooking has always been interesting to me, especially the meals of ordinary people. Many years ago, I discovered the YouTube channel Cooking with Clara, a 98-year-old grandmother who lived through the Great Depression. She recreated the meal she ate growing up. I enjoyed her channel so much, I was gifted her cookbook. I will spend the next three days cooking from Clara's cookbook. So please join me as we recreate a 1920s Great Depression meal plan. Breakfast during the Great Depression was simple, cheap, repetitive, and rarely included meat. Multiple loaves of bread would be baked on one day and eaten throughout the week. The most simple breakfast you could have was bread, butter, and a cup of coffee. So here we are making Ma's Sunday bread. I'm just going to be making one loaf of bread since that's all I'm going to need. First of all, you take some flour and you pour it into a bowl. Make sure you dig out a well in the middle of the flour. You add in the yeast, the water, and the olive oil, and you mix it together with some salt. When it's all combined, you use your hands to knead the ingredients together. It normally takes about 20 minutes of kneading before it is done. Clara says you should think about someone who you're mad at while you're doing this. This will help the time go by faster. When the dough is all kneaded together and is in a springy texture, you put it in a bowl and you're going to cover it with a damp kitchen cloth and let it rise for an hour. While your dough is rising, you're going to take a loaf pan and spray it down in some non-cook spray. After the dough has fully risen, you're going to take it out and punch it down and spread it into your loaf pan. Then you're going to take your loaf pan, cover it back up with the warm dish towel and set it aside for 15 to 30 minutes while you preheat your oven to 450 degrees. After your dough has risen, you're going to want to take a sharp knife to cut in a small slit across the top. Make sure not to go too deep. You only want to go about a centimeter or so in. Then you're going to put it in the oven for 40 to 45 minutes until it is fully cooked and the crust is golden. Make sure to let your loaf fully cool before you cut into it for breakfast. And there we have our simple Great Depression breakfast. Homemade bread, butter, and a cup of coffee. Produce was a frequent table guest during the Great Depression, and mushrooms were an easy, meaty way to spruce up your meal. Anyone could head out to the forest to search for mushrooms. However, you really needed to know what you were doing, since there are so many poisonous mushrooms. Clara shares a funny story how her mother thought you could tell if the mushrooms were poisonous by placing a quarter in the pan. If it turned black, the mushrooms weren't fit to eat. I think I'll continue to buy my mushrooms at the store. For this recipe, you need to clean your mushrooms very well. Get a damp paper towel and gently wipe off any dirt or debris that's on the mushrooms. After slicing your mushrooms, add some olive oil to your pan. Once the oil is hot, you're going to want to add in your mushrooms. You can cook them for as long as you like, but I didn't cook them too long. I prefer mine still nice and juicy. Once they are cooked to your liking, add in a little bit of tomato sauce and season it with some salt and pepper. Toss the mushrooms really well together until everything is combined.
You can serve these mushrooms on a slice of bread or with pasta or rice. I chose to use rice as something different. I thought this recipe ended up fantastic. It really almost reminded me of a stir fry that we'd get nowadays. The mushrooms were juicy, the sauce wasn't overpowering, and it went really well with the rice. Meat was not an everyday ingredient for dinner during the 20s and 30s, but hot dogs were a budget-friendly and welcome source of protein. The poor man's meal is a comforting, tasty, and very family-friendly dinner. First, you're going to peel and slice up two potatoes. Next, you're going to peel and slice up an onion. In a large frying pan, you're going to put in some olive oil. When the olive oil is hot, you add in your potatoes and you're going to fry them until they're nice and golden and crispy. If they begin to stick at all, you can always add in a little bit of water. While that's frying up, you take your hot dogs and you slice them up into bite-sized pieces. Once your potatoes start to soften, you can add in your onions. Once your potatoes and onions are cooked, you're going to add in the sliced hot dogs. Allow that to cook until the hot dogs are heated through. Finally, you're going to add in some tomato sauce. I chose to use ketchup, but I'm sure you can use just regular tomato sauce. And here is our poor man's meal. You can sprinkle on a little bit of Parmesan cheese to up the flavor. I hope everybody enjoyed day one of our Great Depression meal plan and we'll see you for day two.